Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today I've got a new data pack to show you. This is a spy glass. So in my inventory I've got various spy glasses of different magnification values. Uh, you can see they're named 2x, 3x, 5x, and 10x. Um, and as I switch between them, the magnification value will magnify the, the build Optimus Prime over there, uh, you know, more or less. It's pretty cool. I, I think it looks really good as you zoom in and out, <laughs> switching switching to different uh, magnification values. But um, yeah, if you look around, it'll kind of smoothly animate the magnification. And uh, this is craftable too. So to craft it, what you do is you drop a bamboo onto the ground, and then you uh, also drop some glass beans. So you have to drop a stack of glass beans. It has to have at least two because there's two lenses in a um, spyglass, but if you want a larger magnification value, say like seven, you drop a stack of seven glass panes, they'll get combined and you get a spyglass 7x. And so now it'll be sort of in between the five and the 10x. Um, yeah. So that's how you craft it. Um, doesn't, doesn't use a crafting table or anything, but uh, there's a bit of lag as you're looking around and that's because it has to do a lot of computations to figure out what blocks to create and where to put them. So the way this works is if I sort of like move around, you can see a little bit better the um, the falling sand, or I guess they're called falling blocks. Uh, they're entities that are the entity form of like uh, sand and gravel and anvils when they're falling, uh, but uh, they can be placed at arbitrary locations. They don't have to follow the grid. And so I'm basically summoning in uh, falling blocks and um, at a location that's like for 2x magnification, the falling blocks just kind of copy the build, but halfway between you and the target. And then at 5x magnification, it's it copies the build, but it puts you put it puts it only a fifth of the way between you and the target, so it's a lot closer, right? So it's it's just like copying the same blocks, but just moving them a lot closer. And uh, that's how I create the magnification. And so it only it only sweeps over a relatively small um, portion around your crosshairs. Uh, even even at this uh, magnification, if you look at the top left up here where it says the um, how many milliseconds per tick, it, it's it's using like 200 milliseconds per tick where ticks are supposed to be 50 milliseconds. So it's it's already lagging the server a lot to do this, um, and that's why it has to be such a small angle, and that's why I put all these uh, blocks around <laughs> these uh, concrete blocks around around it to kind of make it look like a spyglass, but also to block off the, the edges that don't look very good. I mean, you can see when I do this, that they don't look very good. If you sit still, it looks a lot better. But yeah, it, it does follow the crosshair very precisely. If I zoom in on the very center of Optimus Prime's face, uh, you'll see it's very precise. Uh, now this works for other blocks, like um, like you can see I can zoom in on this these redstone blocks over here, the, the repeaters and stuff, that actually works okay. Um, transparent blocks, it won't render the blocks behind them. So the redstone dust looks like it's floating in midair and you can kind of see the build behind it. So it's, yeah, definitely not perfect, but <laughs> I don't know. This is, this is more of a proof of concept than anything. This doesn't work in multiplayer. Um, obviously, as you move around, it looks terrible. <laughs> it does not look like a magnet, like a, like a spyglass or anything, but uh, but it, do, it does look, especially if you stand still, it looks pretty close to something like a like a spyglass. Yeah, it also doesn't necessarily get every block, especially as you're farther away. Um, it doesn't necessarily get every block in the build, so you can see a lot of those gaps here. And that's again because it has only a certain amount of like angu angular uh, value in between like the blocks as it sweeps across your field of view near the cursor. <laughs> yeah, sometimes let's see if you're like looking too far away, it moves a lot of the blocks clo like close enough to you that they uh, kind of appear outside of the scope of the, uh, of the scope. <laughs> um, so that's also kind of, kind of a bug, but I don't know. Anyway, if you want to try it out for yourself, there's a link in the video description uh, and you can, you can download it and uh, craft it like I just did and just play around with it. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's kind of fun to look at. Yeah. Yeah. Really not too much to this video. Looks cool though. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching.